the three-dimensional world, a world of shadows, a surface effect of a higher dimensional space, or are the shadow world and quantum dimension mutually dependent upon one another? Do they exist because they form a symbiosis? Is the future just a rearrangement, a permutation of the past? How do new things enter the world? Follow me into my dimension. In combination with the U1 quantum dimensions and U2 quantum reflections, the U3 quantum symmetries reveals a topological view on the standard model of elementary particle physics, with symmetry groups U1, U2, and U3. However, first of all, let us, at the first station, take a look at the permutation of information taking simple examples, based on pictures and music. The caretaker plays a xylophone that has had its bars swapped around. No wonder the music does not sound the way Bob is normally used to it sounding. Music scores always refer to a bass. In this case, the arrangement of the bars on the xylophone. We have played the coordinates, that is, the notes of the piece of music, using the wrong bass. Let us transform the bass by swapping around the bars. Then we return to the standard bass, namely to the xylophone as we know it, with the notes in ascending order. We might as well, however, also do it the other way around. If we transform the bass and say that that is supposed to be the proper bass, then the coordinates are wrong. Consequently, we not only have to transform the bass, but also, accordingly, the coordinates. If we play the piece of music using the notes that match the bass, we hear the same piece of music again. When subjected to this sort of transformation, the music is rendered invariant, meaning that the permutations are the corresponding symmetry group. With 13 bars, we obtain over 6 billion possible permutations of the base and coordinates. In the standard model of elementary particle physics, we will rediscover permutations as the core of all symmetry groups. <laughs>